Okay, so right now you are looking at the Superlux E531 slash BCS stereo microphone. And you may have noticed, you know, I review a lot of products that are vintage. And for me, it doesn't really matter if the product is, um, you know, vintage or not. I just like to review things that interest me. And especially, um, you know, if I get it at a very um, good price. So this is a microphone, a stereo microphone that I purchased a week ago for a very very affordable price and well not affordable but I just got it for really a great deal almost for nothing for this microphone and I checked this company out online and it basically the company's been around since 1987 and it was founded in um, founded in Taiwan in Taipei so now um, their products are being sold by a company here in the United States so basically they make microphones headphones and now they say pro audio equipment so I just want to do this quick unboxing on this microphone so as you can see just got it and again you know as I said earlier you know it really doesn't matter if it's a finished product or or not I just really like to you know review things that interest me and I was looking for a stereo microphone that I could use for recording, you know, uh, music from loudspeakers. You know, nothing serious, just something kind of like, um, you know, entry level. So I found this. So let's do the unboxing. And one thing I noticed when I first got this, um, it's very heavy. So you see, yeah, when I picked, you know, when I took it out of the package, it was just very heavy. I noticed. So it seems like, you know, it could be good quality and again uh, one thing I want to mention too the response to this microphone is you know for this type of microphone it's an entry-level microphone it's really average the response is from 100 Hertz up to 15,000 Hertz so the low low as this microphone goes only a hundred Hertz but you know if you are you know recording um, dialogue or even recording you know like I'm going to use it for speakers small speakers you know I have a pair of speakers that only go down there 100 Hertz you know it's pretty adequate just for uh, recording average stuff or even some instruments so yeah so here's the unboxing and easy to use a setup and I'm curious on how it really sounds Because the product information uh, actually said this has natural sounding. I think it's here if you can see it. Yeah, natural sound. Oh, okay. Best way for natural sound feels. feels. Yeah, and um, if, you know, the um, information online, it says that it has natural sound. You know, it records very natural sound. So I want to check it out. So here we go. So yeah, I'm looking at this, and this is a instruction manual. Again, this is a um, this is a stereo microphone, and it uses um, it's a power microphone, so it uses one AA battery to power it. And you know, you can use this to plug into your camera to record, and this is what I'm going to use it for. You know, plug it into my camera and record, you know, some sound from uh, from some loudspeakers just to see how it sounds. Well, here we go, it says right here it says, Okay, stereo space for natural and clear stereo sound image. So uh, this was really interesting me. So I want to see how you know how really this sounds. Is it really clear or is it really natural sounding? So yeah. So let's see. This is the microphone. Again, I bought this you know online, so it was an open box product. So it's already been open. So again, take a look at it. Okay, it has a filter. Okay, pop filter on it, and there you go. So yeah, I'm feeling this. Yeah, this feels like it's metal. You know, I thought it was plastic from the picture, but let me take a look real quick. Um, okay. 
Okay, so um, basically this part right here where the uh, mi mic is at, the condenser mic is at, this part is plastic, but the base of it right here is actually metal. I believe it's aluminum. Aluminum, yes. As you can see, this is it. And it feels really solid, you know, and your hand feels really sturdy. Feels like it's not going to break if you drop it. But the top of it is plastic. This part right here. It's plastic and the base right here is aluminum. So, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Yeah. So again, you I guess you have your um, two microphones. I guess, I don't know how they are arranged in this. Uh, maybe it's one on each side or maybe both of them are at a X or Y, Z, you know, X or Y axis. I don't know. But they're right here, so I don't know how they are arranged. Okay, one thing about this microphone I wanted to mention is that, um, as you can see, you could record at a 90 degree angle and record at a 120 degree angle. And the 90 degree angle is basically for um, if you are recording instruments, maybe you're recording like a guitar or violin something like that where you don't need that wide of space you would select like right here you would select oh okay i guess somebody put a battery in it i just saw it light up let's see yeah there you go so i guess they um put a battery in it but anyways like if you're recording you know um instruments such as a violin or a guitar you would select 90 degrees because it really uh, the space really doesn't need to be that wide if you're recording instruments now, if you are recording live sound, you know, something like a concert or or even a pair of loudspeakers that are set pretty far apart, you would select right here where it would say 120 degrees right here. So that's basically what this is. Um, these two options are for. So since I'm recording, uh, recording loudspeakers, uh, I would set it to 120. So it gives me 120 degrees, give me a wider space to record the sound. But again, if you're recording instruments, you would just set it to um, 90 degree. Or even doing um, dialogues or podcasts or vocals, you would set it to 90 degrees. But it's on right now, so I'm going to cut it off. There you go. But yeah, I'm going to take a look right now. I just want to see. They put a battery in it. So I don't know where the battery goes. Uh, oh, here we go. Again, this is my first time. <laughs> uh, looking at this taking it apart oh, okay here we go there's the battery so that ni so that's nice I already you know loaded the microphone with a battery in it so that's good well, as you can see pretty much you know it's your basic um, stereo microphone that is powered by a double-a battery and again okay yeah this part actually it, um the casing, you know, it's all plastic. I just realized this part right here is all plastic. But the outer casing or the outer outer shell is uh, aluminum. This part is aluminum. And the rest of this is all plastic. So that's kind of um, different as you get here. Yeah. I was thinking the whole thing was um, aluminum. But I can see now this part is all plastic. And the outer casing is made of aluminum. Or metal but still it's still it feels pretty sturdy you know sturdy there we go so yeah it feels sturdy it feels really solid and what we have here is okay this is the mount wow now this right here feels solid I mean I'm wow I'm really impressed <laughs> This actually, this is the mount for the microphone, and this actually is a lot heavier than this microphone. This really surprised me. Um, this thing is heavy. I mean, it's about, let me see. Oh, yeah. This thing is about three or four times heavier than the microphone. This is very heavy. And I'm really surprised for a product like this. Again, this is an entry-level product. So you would expect, you know, a plastic mount, but this part is made out of a solid metal. I don't know, it could be either steel or aluminum, but I believe it's steel, because it's really heavy. But I have bought 
um, or purchase Audio Technica microphones that had plastic mounts and it wasn't this sturdy or this solid they were made out of plastic but this is solid metal very heavy yeah and the, okay the part is um, that's plastic is actually this part right here that holds the microphone and this part too is plastic but the base of it right here is solid metal it's probably steel I believe because it's, it's really heavy okay now screws let's see oh okay okay yeah I get it now the reason why this part is so heavy um, it's designed to fit on your desktop it doesn't mount well I guess it could it could actually I was looking at this part this part can actually mount to your um, your arm your microphone arm that you use to hold your microphone um, as you can see it has a brass threaded insert so it's gonna last pretty long but the reason why this part is so heavy the base of it is um, for the mounted I guess on your desktop like this and the microphone sits in it so that's why but it's still nice you know that it's metal so this is what this is designed for this is just a heavy base so the microphone does it tip over when you set it up so I'm gonna see fits in here uh, like this wow this is really tight too I know yeah this part is really tight clamp on it so okay this is how it goes so let's see so that's it yeah uh, it's really solid it's really does it really move or tilt you know so let's see here we go so yeah this is it so this is why the base is so heavy to keep the microphone from not tilting over you can even adjust it like this and it does it tip over? I get a good view of it. So yeah. So this was just a quick unboxing of the Super Lux microphone, stereo microphone. So I will do a full review on how it sounds in a few days. I'm going to test it out, and I'm going to do some recording, of course, from loudspeakers. Because actually, this is what I got it for. Not so much for podcasts. Or dialogue just for recording you know sound from small speakers basically that's what I'm gonna use this for so yeah so it looks like a pretty solid uh, microphone so I'll make a video soon on the uh, Ohio sounds that's about it